Hey guys. So I just went to Loveland and got me an awesome skinny coffee. I'm going to tell you guys my coffee secrets and how I go to places like Starbucks and Loveland without drinking all the calories that are in most of their coffees and like frappes, there's like tons of sugar. So this one is just an iced caramel macchiato. And I actually tell them that I wanna make it skinny. So in order to make it skinny, I specifically tell them no um, sugar um, liquids. I tell them the sugar-free pumps. So I do the sugar-free, um, you know, the liquid pumps that they add into their coffees. I do sugar-free vanilla. Um, at Starbucks, I get even more specific and I do three pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup and two pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dulce syrup. So if you go to Starbucks, that is a good combo. And then I also, I usually do almond milk, but I recently started doing oat milk because I think it tastes actually a little bit better. So this one has oat milk in it. It has sugar-free um, pumps of vanilla and light caramel drizzle. So um, I know we're doing this two week challenge. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that and what it means. Um, I don't want anyone going crazy trying to starve themselves of healthy proteins and sugars because they think they can't eat those things. Um, there is a fine line between what is healthy and what is not healthy. Um, so as long as you are counting your calories and you're staying within your calorie range and your uh, mac macro range, um, I'm okay with you eating a little bit of sugars and a little bit of fats. Um, but you still want to make sure that whatever sugar and fat you're eating are healthy. So for an example, apples and bananas and fruits, all fruits have sugar in them. So if you eat an apple, yeah, you're going to eat some sugar and that's okay. Apples are good for you. There's plenty of vitamins and minerals in apples and all kinds of fruits, especially berries. They're very high in antioxidants. So please don't not eat fruit because you think you're going to eat sugar. It's okay. Um, it specifically says no chocolate, no candy, no, um, no ice cream. So stuff like that is what you want to keep, um, be wary of. Now there are, are, there are alternatives to those things. Like you can actually, um, eat some dark chocolates as long as you are keeping track of how much you're eating. It's all about how much you take in. Not so much, not so much what you eat. Like you do want to watch what you eat. Like obviously you don't want to eat fast food, um, but it's more about how much you eat. You wanna make sure you're not overindulging. Um, so if you do eat the dark chocolates, one of the dark chocolates I recommend is called um, Lily's Dark Chocolate. They have um, these little tiny uh, dark chocolate baking chips that only have like 60 calories for like 60 chips. So I'll, um, that can be my food of the day. I will take a picture of that later to show you guys. Um, just something to think of, like I'm not, asking anyone to be super strict on their diet as far as no chocolate at all whatsoever. I mean, as long as it's healthy, I'm okay with it. It's okay in my book. Um, another thing it said is no burger. Um, I didn't realize this, but somebody took that as no hamburger meat. Um, and no, I would, um, hamburger meat, as long as you're getting lean, you know, ground beef, that's fine because that's a healthy protein. Um, just make sure it's lean. You don't want to get the super fatty beef. Like you don't want the the 80%, um, you know, or 80% fat or set, whatever it is, 80, 20, 20% fat, 25% fat. You want to try to stay in the 10 and under percent fat range um, when you're doing the lean ground beef so that you can get that lean protein in and not so much of the fats. Um, so yes, I'm okay with that. Even if you make your own hamburger at home using the lean ground beef, I'm fine with that, but it did say no white bread. So if you're gonna make it a hamburger, you can use whole wheat buns or whole wheat bread. Um, one of the breads I suggest is Dave's Killer Bread. That's a great bread. Um, so you can use that as an alternative. Or you, what I do sometimes is I'll just eat the, um, the patty, like do a patty melt and just do a lean burger with some lean Swiss cheese on top of it, okay? So you can make anything healthy, okay? There is no rhyme or reason to what, to what you can and can't make healthy if you have something that you would normally eat and you love it, you can make it healthy. And I'm a, vid, I'm a big um, advocate about making things that I love healthy. For example, my coffees. I love Loveland, I love Starbucks. So I'm not gonna give that up. I'm gonna keep 
drinking my coffee, I'm just going to add sugar-free syrups to it and, you know, do the light caramel drizzles uh, instead of um, doing the regular ones. So that's something to keep in mind. So moving on, today is our fitness challenge. So my name starts with a C. Lucky me, I have nine letters in my first name, so it's a good thing that I'm doing this only once a day instead of doing it all at one day. Um, so I'm gonna start with 30 squats. Um, right now I'm outside in the parking lot at Loveland, so people are probably gonna look at me funny if they haven't already, which is fine. I'm just trying to prove to you guys that you can do um, squats anywhere. You can work out anywhere and who cares what people think about you, even if you are the crazy lady talking to your phone outside in a parking lot. Um, also, I don't have any gym clothes on today. I'm just wearing normal clothes, so it's gonna be odd weird seeing me in normal clothes, but I just popped my trunk open so y'all can see me do my squats. So today I'm going to do 30 squats out here in the parking lot. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Boom. Um, some mod downs for the squats. Just go slower. And some mod ups, you can add a jump into it. Um, also, if you have burpees, as your number one, I know some people had burpees with their first letter. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see me doing this on the ground. But, um, so a full burpee involves doing a push up. So if you're gonna do a full burpee, you're gonna be here, you're gonna push up, come back up, and jump up. Um, to mod that down, um, you would either drop to your knees. Um, or you can take out the push-up and just do a half burpee. So a half burpee is like this. With no push-up. Or you could do the whole thing on your knees. So you come down, drop to your knees, push up, back up, and jump. Okay, now that I'm all nice and dirty from the gravel, I think that about sums up everything. So. Stay tuned for my food of the day post and my um, product of the day. Super excited to give away a product, you guys. Can't wait to see which one you're gonna choose. Have a good day, bye.